Right, my name's Bob Dory, and we're in the, underneath the bridge at the Gascoigne, in the Gascoigne River. And the word is that there's a river coming down, but it's probably a fair way off now at the, at the moment. But when it comes down, sometimes if they had a big rain, but the river's dry now, really dry, so it'll come and, you know, just meander down, and then to pick up, you know, the strength after. So then that's where the fish come down from the other pools, and the kids, as the kids, we used to do that, I used to do that, you know, just run down and get the fish, and then it gradually builds up, you know, depends on uh, what rain they've had and everything else. We just saw a sign in a shop saying it's coming tonight. Do you feel that that's the case? Well, it could be. Uh, um, depends how, how big it is, you see. Um, and I, I don't think it's going to be a really big one, this one. So it'll take time because it's sinking as well as it's sinking down into the sand as it's coming. When, when there's a big wall of water coming down, it's different. Yeah? Yeah. And it's quite an event for the local area. Oh, people come out. People, what happens? Yeah, all over the place, yeah. Out there, kids running around, the mothers chasing them, trying to get hold of them and take them away. Yeah, but yeah, it's always been a pretty big event. Yeah, we used to come down here and float down and dive off the bridge. When you were kids? When you were kids, yeah. It's a wonder I'm still here. And a lot of other mates too, yeah. But yeah. Shall we walk a little bit on the river and feel what it's like? And what, what does it mean, <coughs> you know, for the country when, when the river comes down? What, what else is going on? Or what well, it, well it means that the country's coming to life up there where the rain fell. And usually, you know, we have to get the rain here too and it, and it brings the country up and you get your, your flowers, you know, regrowth and all that sort of thing, you know. And it runs, keeps running the plantations benefit really good thing because they battle when there's no water. Yeah. Yes. And we've just come from the opening of the, well, an announcement that the Gunwadu Mia Maya Cultural Centre will re reopen it and that's the name for the country through here. Is that to do with the river running under the ground or? Well that one, um, well that's the crossing back there really. Right. From what I gather. The new article. Uh, yeah, they, they, yeah it's well, they'll be connected with the river. Yes, yeah. yes. And it's such a beautiful place, isn't it? How, how does it feel when you come down here? What does it mean? Oh, good. Because it's my country. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it's come down pretty fast, yeah. but that's a big one. Yeah. So you said um, before that people can walk down with it, walking with the river walking as it comes river, in. Yes, yes. Getting the fish, the kids would be straight in there getting the fish. As I keep saying, but we used to have a lot of fun, a lot of fish too. <laughs> so, what, when you say getting the fish, can you just pick them up? They're coming at the front of yeah, the river. Just sweep them out the water with a stick or anything, or just and grab them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How beautiful. So, you'll let us know when the river comes in. If it's not tonight, when it is. Yeah. Is there anything else that you'd like to add about the story of the river coming to? Well, it'll brighten now. River up. You see, a lot, of, a lot of the gums are dying and uh, haven't had a river for a while. We need a big, bigger one, I think this is, but it depends what we get in the next couple of weeks. washed away there and some places have built up you see we have a another arm of the gas coin going back down there and makes an island in the middle and there are four gum trees in there and i used to ride through with the horse we used to ride through with the horses and i told the shy president to go out there and have a look because the trees were holding the sand and he said it doesn't affect the town and i said all right you'll see um, but now that, that part of the country is about six feet higher than the other, other, other channel. So the water's got to go somewhere. You can't, you can't restrict nature. Mm. And if you'd have taken them things out first, it would have been no worries. The water's a very powerful presence all around Carnarvon, oh, isn't it? Got to treat it all with respect too, you know. much needed and, and well one thing I really hate is fracking because it's gonna destroy our streams. The yeah. underground streams. Yeah. And we're gonna get water. Yeah. That's a different topic but yeah no, I'm, 
very keen on that. It's, it's overlighted. Really against fracking, I'm not going to frack in the Kennedy Ryan test. Get into a group and then push hard enough. Hopefully, we do something about it because it must be stopped. They know what's happened over east, they know what's happened around the world. But anyway, well, the big water is life campaign. Life or water will be more. Water is everything. Gold. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be everything. So, so you're jumping in and grabbing it. I can't shut up when I hear it. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> no, that's a good, a good important point to make about mm. caring for water. And caring for water, yes, we have to care for the water. And, and <coughs> I just feel so fortunate to be standing here today with you, Bob Dory, on this beautiful, beautiful country, listening to the birds, a little bit of wind. Yeah, really beautiful, cool wind. And waiting for the water to come. And I'm sorry, I probably won't be here to see it myself, but I look forward to hearing about it. Thank you. One day you'll come back and